Step into a world where it's on the line. Feel the energy surge, yeah, you're prime. No limits, no boundaries, the game's in your head. Get ready, get set, it's time to make a stand. Game to your show, it's the ultimate thrill. A roller coaster ride, you know it's real. Feel the rush, let your spirit ignite. To the test, show them what you got. Every move, every play, gotta give it all you've got. No time for hesitation, no room for doubt. In this arena of champions, let the excitement shout. Game Dojo Show is the ultimate thrill. A roller coaster ride, you know it's real. Feel the rush, let your spirit ignite. Put your skills to the test, show them what you got Every move, every play, gotta give it all you've got No time for hesitation, no room for doubt In this arena of champions, let the excitement shout Game Dojo Show, it's the ultimate thrill A roller coaster ride, you know it's real Feel the rush, let your spirit ignite Game Dojo Show, taking flight I'm rolling up in this old joint, feeling good and ready to swing. Give me a glass, don't make it small, cause tonight I'm drinking me some dojo juice, y'all. It's got a kick, it's so smooth, gonna get me in the party group. The band is playing, the crowd is swaying. I'm catching a buzz from this dojo juice I'm laying. Sipping on dojo juice, oh yeah. Sipping on dojo juice, oh yeah. Got me feeling loose, oh yeah. We'll dance all night till the sun comes through. Sipping on dojo juice, just me and you. Hey guys, it was Thursday. Uh, I took one night off for my birthday, so deal with it. Now we're gonna play more pub juice because we like pub juice. We praise the pub juice here at the Dojo. Oop, I almost, uh, well, it's too bright. Whatever. Oh, whatever, it's fine. Mm, no, no, no. Um, so what you guys doing? Thank you. Aw. Aww. Aww. Yes, I am now 44. Officially very, very old. Keep that in mind. Oh wait. Oh, this is uh, but Petrona. Wait, what? Oh god, I thought there was a map a new map. <laughs> Sorry. Got excited over there. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, why can't I hear the game? What? What? Hold on. Why can't you hear the game? It worked earlier. It did. Crap. Hey. Hell. Hello there, Sir Montana and Sweet Sabine, Deck Jr., the Mascar. I don't know why it's not working. There it goes. Okay. It was just being stupid. It was just being stupid.
mirror mirror to start off the night. Whatever, that's fine. Crash Panicking, I am going to get good. Today is the day that I get good at this game. That's it. Today is the day. Official. I, have it. I was getting good for a while there, then I got bad again, then I got a little better again. Then I, you know, so. Ebb and flows. Aww. Aww. Thank you, Doug Jr. Giving some love to the Mr. Sertonia. Uh, my 35th birthday. Thank you for the 35th birthday. Yep, it was good. It was a good day. I went out, saw comedy in an underground place. Went to a really nice... I, I had a dinner that uh, was not very expensive. It might be my new favorite restaurant right now. It was awesome. Small, indiscreet. It's, I, I ordered the flank steak, and it, I think one of the best steaks I've ever had. It was great. Benjamino! Benjamino! El Benjamino! How are you doing? El Benjamino! <laughs> Premium car referee Squido? Oh, no. Alright. Off we go to the adventures of Killing Man Land. <laughs> um, is it fun to get play? Yeah, for me it is. Uh, I had a, I had a real bad uh, peer period with it. Uh, but once I kind of got better at uh, killing, <laughs> I got better. It's better than all the games that are out there right now, I'll put it that way, and it's sad. Like, it's just... It's almost like it's a default game at this point. Today's date is the 18th of April, Crash Panic Game. I'm not sure why you're asking me that. You can also check up there at the top where it tells you the 8 above the TV. <laughs> Save that. First dive! First game of the night. First catch of the day! Gonna shoot some dudes with this gun I just got. I think we're belong you. Gonna shoot some dudes in the face of the lot. Thank you, Cash. I'm here for an annual six month visit. Servant 10. I remember, I remember when you used to be on the channel every day. Every day, every day, write the book. Every day. You single handedly got me drunk many, many times. Okay, that's two SKSs and, and a mini. Is there any other weapons I can play with here, boys? What is it? VSS? No, I don't want that. I don't want any of this. No, gross. Hmm. In the circle, but barely. <laughs> Back to watching the dojo. You better, you better stick around, Mr. Crosstown Creek. Today's gonna be the day, guys. This is gonna be the day where we, we're like we get some good games going in. Okay, things are gonna happen. Things are gonna happen here. I had a dream, by the way, that the barrel was a, a broken gun. I swear to God. It was one of the strange things. I can't, I can't believe I dreamed about guns in PUBG. 
But I dreamed that the uh, it was like the, the the barrel. The reason why everyone was doing so well is because it literally had no recoil at all. And in my dream, I'm seeing like, oh, I should start using this gun. It was very weird. I thought it was a real dream. So I woke up like, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> it's just a dream. It's a little weird. Having a damn dream about this game, you might. Did you, nah, I wouldn't call it dickhead. I just definitely played too much. I wouldn't go. Addiction is not the word. Addiction is when you can't help yourself and you have to play it. I just, I just play too much because it's the only game on stream that's worth playing right now. Everything else is kind of poopy. Definitely think I'm done with Call of Duty though. Those, those two times when the servers were down, I would decide to play it. I, I, my heart was so not in it. I, like, I, I just couldn't care. I could care less about the weird, jumpy, speedy, jump around people gaming. Hot peppers. Hot huh? peppers for you. What does that mean? Off we go. Let's see if there's any cars I can grab quick. Hate spicy food. What's the point of eating a pinion? Well, there's a lot of reasons. Uh, it's actually it activates taste buds. To be honest, uh, spicy food done right will actually make things flavorful, more flavorful than they weren't. Okay, number two, it's exciting. You know, it's kind of a fun little it makes it makes an adventure to eat something. Um, different spices have different flavor profiles as well. It's not just burn. If you just do it just to hurt, I get it. That's dumb. Yeah, there's there's some hot sauces that all this is just a burn. There's no flavor enhancer. It just hurts. And that's just stupid. I agree. But, but a spicy food has a lot of purpose. Like I like high, I, I'm trying to trick my kids into eating high spot spicy food that, over the past few years. It's not working. Today we had tacos. I made tacos, and uh, I didn't have new new taco uh, uh, spice stuff for the meat versus the normal like Ortega, a little spicier than normal. And of course, the little one Owen was like, oh, quite whiny, complaining about it. But I, I got him to eat it, and so a little by little they'll, they'll learn. Um, I mean, I've I've already you know. I tend to put a spice on everything. I do like I do like hot and everything. Except my dad. My dad. Uh, I'm like my dad now. The older I get, now that I'm 44, <laughs> uh, uh, I put things that make everything hot. <laughs> my dad used to make spaghetti hot, by the way, which I think just I'm. Oh, oh, I got shot at. That was weird. What, was I? Wait, was I getting shot at? Yeah, it acted like the target blew out, but I guess not. Never mind. I heard a beep sound. That's not good. Ritesh Benson, hello Ritesh Benson. Welcome to the channel. Put your name being here. Thank you guys for hanging out this evening. I'll be streaming tomorrow as well. Stream streaming a lot lately. So that's good. Right? Yo yo, how's it going? It's going okay, I suppose. Not the best week for me, but uh I'll be fine. Might have found a favorite new restaurant last night. I've been there once before a long time ago. Um, never, I don't know why I never went back, but I think I went, oh yeah, I forgot out of COVID. Um, went back there and went there last night. It was, I, I mean, phew. Oh no, they're gonna kill me. Don't shoot me, I'm your friend. I'm, ooh, Jesus, guys trying to get me. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's see anybody shooting me. I 
don't know where this fish stick came from, but boo on that man. Boo on that man. Just boo him. <laughs> maybe, was that maybe that hot sauce and spaghetti sauce? What? But did he put, no, so, uh, well, no, in, in any kind of um, Italian dishes, well, not Italian, but uh, like red sauce dishes, uh, a lot of times they do call for red pepper flakes. And so they're, they're like a, a bolognese or a vodka sauce has a little bit of spice to it. My dad would add red pepper flakes to his homemade spaghetti sauce which I don't think is a good idea for kids because it's red, red paper flakes are pretty strong sometimes. And they're not really, a, they're, not, they're not really good for the flavor profile of a child. I don't like, but uh, I do it right now for like, I have a great recipe for vodka penne. It's kind of like my go-to if I'm hosting just new people for, you know, casually. It's, it's a real cheap meal. That's really tasty and you can eat a lot of it. Uh, but the, the, one of the key ingredients is the red paper flakes. If I make it for myself, I put a lot. If I make it for other people, I put a little less because, you know, hot sauce and hot, hot things that don't make everyone happy. Uh, yeah, I mean, trying your spaghetti I, again. I don't think spaghetti should be spicy per se, but um, but some sauces should, do require it. Um, my most recent uh, meal, which I'm absolutely in love with, I actually made it a couple days ago with my homemade pasta with um, you know, it's kind of catch it at Pepe where it's it's a pepper sauce, but the trick is uh, sorry, crushed peppercorns is the main flavor. Uh, I use a pachetta though for the fat, so it's really kind of like a bacony kind of peppery. It's a really good place. It's, it tastes like a restaurant. I love it. Um, I was at the grocery today. I got more pancetta. It's probably gonna make it again tomorrow or something. I'll just keep making it, but I'll be until I get sick of it and never make it again. But it's a really good food. Uh, when I was 10, I used this religiously. Uh, uh, why am I yawning? I slept all day today. I used to religiously eat hot wings and from Pizza Hut that were made from ghost peppers. Oh my God. Wait, when, when did Pizza Hut have ghost pepper things? What? Hmm. Oh my gosh, game. Play video games. Appreciate the good viewership this early in the stream. It's only 10.15. Love you guys for being here. Thank you. I don't know what to do without you. Might be an Egypt only thing. Oh, Egypt. That's so strange that you're with Egypt. I, I will never, to my, today I die playing streaming. It is still strange and it's hard for me to imagine that people watching the stream are not in America or not just some dude down the street. I mean, between all the people in Ireland and Australia, the Philippines, Egypt, a lot of people in Britain, it's just, it's a weird feeling to know that I'm being broadcast around the world um, for free, basically. It doesn't cost me anything to send this signal out, which is fascinating. Just think of how different it was like 50 years ago, what it would take to broadcast to somebody in Egypt right now. What well, The money, the, uh, the gear, the hardware would have to be used, the relay stations. Yep, Ben showed, Ben showed, yeah, India's actually, I'm sorry, India, I, I, there was a, a surge of Indian, um, the viewership back in the YouTube days, like 2016, I think it was. There was like something, like I think the the market of YouTube opened up there or something like that. I don't know what it is, but suddenly like I had probably about 100 people watching a night that were all from India. Dude, there was one time when I got, I got like a, it was like some sort of weird, it wasn't like I was botted, but like thousands of Indians came in. It was really strange. I don't know if you guys remember that time. You're from Mars. Well, the problem is though, Montana, I don't know if that'll happen because one thing that uh, you can't, the current technology can't do is move faster than the speed of light. So technology of, of uh, radio signals still takes like, I want to say 30 minutes to get to Mars. Or no, 30 minutes. Um, it's long though. So the Earth to the Sun is eight minutes, right? For Sun, I think I think the Mars is something, something like 10 minutes. So. Playing the video games. Don't forget yeah, Norway. Who, where, where's Norway? I don't know. What's used to mean? What are you talking about? Is that a country? I'm joking, Sir Tony. I'm just, it's a, uh, Sweet Sabine is actually in, uh, in, uh, uh, um, nor, nor, uh, nor, is it Norwegian? She's from, nor, not, not Norway, Norwegian, uh, what is the country called? Uh, why, why am I blanking on this? He's Norwegian. He's not Norway. He's not from Norway. There's no freaking weapons in this place. He was very little. Thank you, Sweet Sabine. 
That's what I need right now. Some good, healthy ribbon. Making me feel good. I'm gonna die because I have a crappy weapon, but let's see what happens here. Stipper. We love our stippers here at the dojo. Wait, what? That's weird. Ooh, much better gun. Much better gun for what I need to do here. There's at least one guy, if not two guys here, and they're probably computer players. Thank you, Happy Bird. Thank you, everybody, Assassin. Appreciate you. And. Oh, that zombie. Oh. Oh, boo. Oh, well. How does it feel to be 30 again? Feels good to be 30 again. What a great age. I knew he was there, but he, that was basically the only gun that was going to beat me in that battle, by the way. Props to him to know, know, know that night location. Died 93 out of 98 damn time. What? Not, died 93 out of 98 damn LOL. What? What are you saying there, Mr. Cash? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I died early because of the other reasons. But... Here we are again. Boo. Those hot wings are really good. Been years since I ate them, but now I eat. Now I hate spicy food. What? What hot wings? I recommended a, a recipe earlier last week. Was that what you're talking about? Well, speaking of, I have chicken wings. I'll make those after the stream. I don't think I have. I forgot about them. Did I see your oldest son in the Discord? Yes. Miles is on there. He's he, he's addicted to Discord. He has his own Discord server. He doesn't stream or use it for anything, but he likes it. So he likes exploring it. I don't know.
I made my sons their own Discord so they didn't have, just don't need to go elsewhere. I can keep an eye on them. I guess it's smart. He uh he's got a server on I think it's connected to mine, but I'm not sure. This is a very bad night already. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Seriously, who has a Panzerfaust in this game? Who plays with a Panzerfaust? <laughs> yeah, it's like a, like an RPG. It's, whenever I use it, I never kill anyone. I, you have to, I think you have to hit them directly in the chest in order to kill them. If you hit around, it just hurts them. So the fact that he got me in the chest is, is pretty ridiculous, but that's fine. Imagine having a gamer dad. One less to worry about buying gamer dad. One less, one thing less to worry about is buying games. <laughs> not necessarily. I'm not necessarily a gamer dad. I game. I don't really. I don't buy a lot of games, and the stuff I like to play is not like what he likes to play. So it doesn't really work. He loves Valorant, like competitive, like single FPS shooters. I like more like battle royales or RPG or a uh, scary game. <sighs> There's 10 of you on YouTube. You guys like hit that like button? Oh, it's 15 likes. There's more people liking than the video. That's that's perfect. Thank you guys. Grim is really realizing scary games is the best type of games out there. I wouldn't say best. I do like it though. I think some of the yes, it, scary games are, are probably one of the better ones because it does kind of work off of uh you can have not so much going on in the game and still have a lot of good times. Versus like a lot of these games like RPG has to be so dense it's you know so like development rounds. I, I am kind of surprised how there isn't a really good genre of scary games out there. You'd think that people would be able to get really good into it, but I think game developers are lazy when it comes to scary games lately. I think the best one ever played. Can't remember them all anymore. Yeah, I played Last of Us and Last of Us too. I didn't like Last of Two as much, not because of the 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 silly uh, drama that people put in the game about losing Joel or whatever. I just thought it wasn't as well structured as a game. It seemed kind of you know, like a little too wild. It didn't really have kind of a focus. Should have seventeen likes. Well, that's good. Thank you, non Montana. Well, Survivor Horror. Okay, Resident Evil Two. Wait a minute, Survivor Horror. 
Resident Evil 2. Those aren't really survival horror. Those are just those are just horror games. I mean, I, I mean, they're very linear. Like Resident Evil isn't really a survival horror for my for my guess. Survival horror is like, I guess I don't know. I guess I don't. I suppose it could be. I, my my brain is like those kind of games where it's more of a almost like an open world. You have to build a build a hut to sit, you know protect yourself from zombies at night. That kind of stuff. Go. Vitor, thank you for the thumbs up. Thumbs up, Vitor. Yeah, Friday thing was with Tommy, not Nate. Of course, Tommy, not Nate. The absolute best gaming moment of my streaming career. You guys, everyone's always talking about this, the, 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 the uh, McDonald's thing. The McDonald's thing doesn't hold anything up to Tommy, not Nate. This is definitely Tommy, definitely not Nate. <laughs> Such a weird kid out there. He was hilarious. I loved it. Oh, shit. I should get a partner with that dude. Because it wasn't just him just acting like that. Oh. Hashtag suck it. Hell, why isn't this guy dying? <laughs> Dude, I was like shooting him so much, he just didn't die. What the hell? Whatever. Another little, definitely lots of fun memories in the squads of PUBG. Uh, well, that wasn't PUBG. That was that, that was uh, that was probably thirteenth. But yeah, there's a lot of good stuff in the past. Not so much fun now, is it? <laughs> Whatever. That's how it is. Ten thirty-five. I'm gonna put this up there just because. Why not? Maybe one someone wants to buy me a post-birthday do juice. 
post ju post Jojo juice, post birthday juice, P post juice. Mm, that sounds all right. <laughs> Boo indeed. Oh. Rondo! I'm, in my opinion, uh, F uh, PUBG and Fortnite ruining gaming. Great. Wow, PUBG? Every dev out there is now trying to make these games like there's no ideas for games. Well, okay. Couple cash things. First of all, I wouldn't put... Don't put this game in the Fortnite era. I mean, they... This game is kind of it's a unique self. P Fortnite copied this format, by the way. Um, Fortnite's original game mode was a horrible tower, de a tower defense game. Uh, I don't... I, I disagree. I think... They didn't ruin. They didn't ruin gaming, uh, because I think it's a new format that I think is very, very important. Uh, it's, it got rid of the full. It kind of lessened the, the multiplayer world of constant respawning. You know, the the consequences of dying is a bigger thing in this game, and I like that. As for developers not having imagination, it doesn't have to do with PUBG. That that they just don't have imagination. They just keep copying. I still don't understand why someone has not run with the uh, run with this and like did like Star Wars versions. Or how about I? I, I would love to see a Terminator. You know. Terminator Battlefield with a bunch of robots and, and red lasers and really dark environment. That'd be badass. You know, come up with something new and creative. Or why no, 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 uh, nobody's ever made a Rainbow Six Siege, uh, God, game. There's like, there's, there's lots out there that could be available. I think corporations have killed, uh, gaming. I think what's happening is that the people that are in charge of gaming are no longer the, the passionate people like uh, the dudes back in the 90s who graduated college and want to make a new video game. They're now big corporations with uh, bottom lines and, and studies and tests and polls. And they determine, okay, if we make this many sales of gaming, we will, and, and we only cost, pay this much to build the game, then we'll make a profit. And that's it. It's, a, it's a profiting. They're just profiting of it. They're not really thinking about making something new. Kingdom Come Del Deliverance 2 trailer came out today. It looks amazing. What's Kingdom Come 2? I don't know what that is. Oop, I got a little buddy. I got a little buddy. We got a little buddy here. Hey, little buddy. Hey, little buddy. How you doing, buddy? Fox him. Oh, he's a human player, right? <laughs> Hides in <Hashtag> toilets. Suck it. <laughs> its name is Hides in Toilets. <laughs> That's actually pretty damn funny. Give him credit on that one. Good job, hides and toilets. You did your best. The other thing is copying. I agree. Well, it's easy. You can just copy a game mode. You know, don't put too much effort into it. 
uh, disappoint a bunch of people, but they buy it, and then you have uh, profits to make your next game. It's just it's just uh, consumerism based at this point. Again, I, it's not it's not the same as it used to be, where it was people um, genuinely uh, making trying to make art or trying to build something that was never seen before. You know, this is whatever. Suck it, hide and chuck. Suck it, hide in toilets. Oh. Kind of gross. He's hiding toilets. You know. All right, so we, ooh, interesting. I gotta get up in here, up in, up in that business. Tony, you didn't miss anything. Mm, you know what? I'm not going to do GS9. I'm going to keep with my AKM. I think they've made this thing a meta. I've had some good luck with it lately. At least sort of luck. Somewhat luck. Well, there you go, Cash. This is like deliciousness. Kids are nuts for Nutella. I never really, never really cared for it much. It's okay. It was more like I just eh, kind of shrug. You know, I don't, I'm not a big macadamia nut for a fan, so that, and that's what that stuff is. Good chocolate alternative, though. Even though chocolate isn't bad for you, so that's something to keep in mind. A lot of people think chocolate's bad for you. Like, no, the, the if you put dogs in like a billion pounds of sugar, sure, but uh, for the most part, it's actually good for you. I think. From what I understand. All right. Cool. Let's go. To be fair, 2017 to mid 2014 was great. Great. Really great. I hate that game. <laughs> the rise of the uh, ninja was kind of hilarious. Dude, because I, I was, you know, I'd go to all the conventions and he was always there. He was always the star, right? But, like, the guy wasn't that very nice and he wasn't really that great in any of the games. And it's, it's, it's weird to watch people in those environments. <laughs> A lot of people also think that I, I always joke about how Fortnite ruined my channel because I didn't play it. But honestly, even if I would play it, it would my channel would be bad. You know, Fortnite was just like the only people who cared about Fortnite viewers, or Fortnite streamers, were the ones who were good at it, like really good at it, and it just never would have fit me. Past you, we would come. Oh boy, I knew that was gonna happen. Ow. Forty. Is it forty-six k? Good for your ship tonight. Thank you, guys. For a Thursday. It's a Thursday. We haven't even seen a ladies' lounge. Kind of upsetting on Thursday. The Thursdays need to have lady lounges. Silly boys. Get those ladies happy. I guess Sweet Sabine's the only lady here, but you know. Hey, shooting at me. <laughs> oh, my tire's out. Or don't, my tire's hurting. Not hurt. Oh, okay. Dad joke time. What? Oh boy. Oh come on. Oh come on, game. Fucking seriously? It's spinning out of control and of course it hits the pole. Dad joke time, dad joke time. Hey guys, yay, dad joke. Yay, while well, I'm driving I'm driving and dad joking. Driving and dad joking. I remember that one. <laughs> What does a cloud do when it gets the niche? It finds a nearest skyscraper. Stop whining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Uh, All right. Okay. So I'm driving and I'm doing this by the way. Uh, what does Batman like in his drinks? Just ice. Get it? Cause justice. Ha ha ha. Get it. Yay. Uh, yeah, I heard that one before. Good job there, Mr. Tony Montana. 
Hey, a lot of my little dad joke. Sorry, did I, did I emasculate your dad joke? Sorry. Why the moment fell in the wall? You didn't see that well. Stop whining. No. Four Maltovs, yeah, look at that. How badass is that? EMP's coming. So silly. I want shoot. It's it's right there. It's like it's taunting me. It's taunting me. Oh no! Look at me! Look at me! Oh no! I'm unable to use my reticle for five seconds. It's a weird mechanic. I'm not really sure I understand the need for this EMP thing. I I don't know if it's ever affected a game. It it does affect the cars a little bit. That's a little frustrating at times, but not really that big deal. Minor at best. I like a little glitchy like um, visuals though. It's kind of neat. Oh, the jam pack doesn't work in that thing. I just realized, which again doesn't matter that much, but interesting. Fun times. Hey, Zigmoy, welcome back. Dad jokes are farts. Will always be funny to me. What? My kids like to you and make Alexa do fart sounds, which I think is hilarious. Oh shit. Those missed the circles coming in. I was trying to cover up a fart and cough and always class always made legendary. It was too late. <laughs> legendary. I just say that these EMP things don't affect the game. Right, well, this is annoying. Oh, 
Oh, man's not here. Hey! Men! Oh, what? Hey. Hey, men. Come on in. It is time for some men lounge action. Yeah, action. That's what you guys want. You got back room action. Hmm. Yeah. Be a subscriber. Yeah, man. Come on. Have some skibby time with the skibby dojos. Yeah, thank you for being here, guys. Is the van from a movie vacation at Helms? I don't even know that movie you're talking about. I have no reference. What's stalking me? Oh my god! The M4 perfection, apparently. That was dumb. Whatever. That was the same guy who was shooting me earlier, I think. I think. If I am. Really good movie. Well, Tony Montana isn't a movie. <laughs> Tony Montana is not a movie. Scarface. I'm not playing very well today. I, again, I, I think the SMGs did that distance of stupid for me to shoot at. I mean, it's not going to do much damage and just brings attention to me. I should have waited. But... I just should have thrown a Molotov at him. I had four of them. What the hell's wrong with me? Mm. <laughs> nice. <to check>, Junior. <laughs> That's a funny... That's, that looks, that's a funny one. That <laughs> he dances with me. loud i remember back in the day you know mixer would would let you use gifs in the chat that was fun the problem with that though was uh i remember it was, it was only really short-lived though i think it was like less than a month just can be pretty bad i think that i mean and, and it, i mean it's fun for viewers but it's not very you know it's horrible for for a streamer because it just Makes like a big blocks of the chat for nothing really important. It's just it's like a tensioning. 
If Mixer was still working today, I think it would have been Twitch level or higher. What? Why? Okay. Obviously not. There's a reason why they went out of business. Um, Mixer, would, Mixer was badly uh, managed. And again, I've told, this, I've told people this forecast. The reason why Twitch is big and YouTube can kind of be big is that they have a viewer base. There's new new streaming markets can't just be magically grown out of nowhere. There's there's no new people out there looking for streams, really. If they are, they'll just go to Twitch. You know, someone's like, oh, I'd never been to watch a stream before. I'm going to go watch on Mixer. I mean, don't nobody even knew what Mixer was. Only people in the industry. So all they can do is poach from Twitch and from YouTube. But what I've learned very much per, uh, firsthand is that viewer, loyal to, lo viewer loyal loyalty is less than uh, the app loyalty. Like even now today, I'm streaming both YouTube and Twitch. Anybody could go to Twitch, but they tend to stay on YouTube and vice versa. So it's just, it's, it's pointless to try to make a new map thing. Mixer is bound to fail. You don't give that much money to streamers to stream exclusively. You, well, it's not all exclusively. It's just you don't pay them at all. That's wasted. That was, the funds that Mixer uh, you wasted, uh, is, I think the reason they went under. I think if you pay 12 million for Shroud, right? $12 million? That's, that's one guy? There's a failed business model where they thought that if they paid the streamers to move over, then they would bring their mar their uh, their audience with them, and it, it did to a degree. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's completely didn't, like not, no one went over there, but Ninja's the best example of that. He was he was the one that was paid the most I think for Mixer and like 20 million dollars, some stupid ridiculous. He switches over, right? And only I think a third of the people he's gonna like remember he's almost 80,000 viewers on Twitch 80,000 people were watching him on the peak terms you know and then when he switched over only about as I said only like a third no no like I think think 10,000 I think 12,000 max was, was his max numbers on, on Mixer so you only have one of every eight people came over and it, it slowly decreased because those people were not just fans of him they're a fan of like all the uh um uh, streamers uh, in on on uh Twitch so what they ended up doing is uh not you know not sticking around on mixer because they want to watch their because right now if i'm you're on twitch right if i'm if my stream is a little bit boring it's so easy for you to just simply go and uh click on um sorry i'm distracted so, yeah. uh, click on uh, someone else's stream right there and just watch for a little bit and switch back that that ability to kind of watch multiple streamers and almost at the same time is powerful stuff but if you have a different app then you have to open up a whole different browser window and you have to uh, on your phone. It's a completely you know clunky uh, interface to get it happening. And I think that's what happened to everything. I don't. I, you know, people don't want to just watch one streamer. That's why I always said, you know, if I was Mixer, ooh, nice level three bucks. Right. If I was in charge of Mixer, you know what I'd done? I would have not paid twelve million dollars for one stupid old streamer. I would have taken a whole bunch of mid-level guys, maybe my size, but or bigger. It could be bigger. Uh, and pay them each ten thousand to do it. Come over, you know, a smaller amount. Ten thousand. Uh, what is that? Ten. That's one. It's like twelve million. Gosh, what is the math on that? What's twelve million divided by ten thousand? Like something like a couple hundred at least. So you have a huge, and you and you, you call you call them something. You know, you, you create a name for them, and then you uh, you create a group of people that have a whole bunch of like-minded uh, viewers, and you create a community over on on, on Mixer. But instead, you have one group of people who just don't really want to deal with you. It was twenty? No, what it was the uh, cash? If I remember right? It was twenty, like a twenty million dollar uh, flat out, uh, like cash out. And then he got, I think he got something like every, something to do with every gifted, every gifted or every uh, <laughs> subscriber. <laughs> Matt Morrison, nice. Aww. Look at you. Stat is a mixer lord. Mixer lord? I don't even know what that even means. What do you mean mixer lord? But yeah, uh, he got like it was it was both of the was one two punch of a cash out, and then he got some the subscribers. He got some extra money or something from it. I don't know what that was, but either way, it doesn't matter. It's in the past. He can not been. He's back on Twitch. But that's the thing. What's interesting is so he was eighty thousand viewers on Twitch, and he goes over to um, a mixer and it goes drops to like ten thousand, and he goes back to Twitch because mixer goes out of business. And now he's only like, I think he's like maxing out at some like 15, 20,000, not even that, which is still awesome. I wish I had that, right? But the reality is that it's not um, nothing like what it used to. 
So he hurt his own brand and his own stuff by doing that switch around. Which will be a, a cautionary tale for any other businesses trying to poach, you know? It was, it's just bad business all around. It's just people in charge that didn't know the system properly, I think. I really don't think they, they really paid attention. Nick's annoying me because they, they'd actually, they brought me and Stad into like a whole bunch of conversations. We would actually have, uh, at, at conventions, we have meetings. Oh, Jesus! Oh, hello! Hey, how you doing? Fezboo. What? Fezboo? Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that big D. Where's the big backpacks in the game? Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Anyways, we were being sour by pulling into real meetings with real people in Mixer, some real guys in charge of stuff, and they, uh. Yep, that was, that was, that was a good jump scare. I was scared. I'm scared. That was, that was scurdy. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, I am juiceless. I'm very juiceless right now. Very sober. Very sober, sober dojo. Uh, and they never took any of our advice. We, we said some really important things, I think. Some stuff that really could have really made a difference, and they didn't, didn't apply any of the thoughts. Like, why did they even have this meeting? What a waste of my time. Here, ten thirty-two. That sounds really familiar, actually. I could be a computer player, but that sounds familiar. I'm looking for a big backpack. That was really strange. Oh, well, pretty best. I don't know what I should do. Thank you, BPA. Even with my heart racing from your all scary donation, I did a good job. I did a good job. I am really dumbfounded. Where are, where is the big backpack? I think I actually have one now. Never mind. Did I mess that up? Hello, big girl. Cody says, I found some pickles in my mom's bedside drawer today. Okay. Uh, they seem to think I've been there for a while, so they're a bit hard and rubbery. Do you know that she's storing pickles in here? Uh, just make sure you taste them with your mouth and uh, re report back. The safest way you can determine. The safest thing you can do. Push. <laughs> Push time. Scotty doesn't know. <laughs> Big girl, he's been doing this every time. He He's been weirdly sexual about his parents the past week. And I don't know what's going on with him. In his case, he's got some issues. Hey, sweet sweet. Jeez, I'm thirsty. Thirsty out there, folks.
Oh, Rooster, thank you for the 100 biddies. Don't get fine. BPI, fine. Pooper pants. You're a pooper pants. Thank you, Rooster. I'll say it once, I'll say it a thousand times. Every viewer donated 100 bits every stream. I could do this for a living. It's about crowdsourcing, folks. It's reaching those wallets. Donate to Dojo, $1 a day. For you, you can for only one dollar a day save a dojo. Hello, Ali. Welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit that like button if you're on YouTube. Like the video, make Dojo happy. I just watched the first three episodes of Fallout. The second episode was puppy and intro really open, really caught me off guard. <laughs> Hashtag suck it. I think that was a human player. With it. I've always been decent with that. It just depends on the situation who made me it. If I was great, just hope they didn't run out of ideas going forward. Run out of ideas. The best thing about Fall is there's like almost infinite storylines that you can go with, so I don't know. I'm not too worried about that at all. Balls and big balls, and little dick. <laughs> the names of these players. Yeah, the A cam has definitely uh, has been uh, has been done something to it. It is definitely more powerful than it used to be. Oh shit! No, come on. Fuck! No. Boo! Stop looting people's bodies. The chat is confusing. So Ali. What's going on is that you, I'm streaming at Twitch and YouTube, and you're on YouTube. Most of the people talking are on Twitch, so it looks like it's a restream, but if you look, it says Twitch. They're real people, but they're over on Twitch. But I'm sending the audio and the uh, text to your side and YouTube so you can read and interact just like you were in both shows. Well, that was great. Oh. Oh, Matt Morrison. Let the creamy juice dribble down your chin. <laughs> yeah. I like that, Matt Morrison. I enjoy the creamy dojo juice. Mm, dojo juice. Everybody likes dojo juice. It's given in love. Thank you, buddy. I'll put you right down here under that nook. Uh, where are you? You're in here somewhere. I know you're. There you are. There you are. Matt Morrison. Be like Matt Morrison. Give Dojo juices. There you go, buddy. All right, I'll be back. I'm going to get a Dojo juice.
You guys can listen to this music. I'm rolling up in this old joint, feeling good and ready to swing. Give me a glass, don't make it small. Cause tonight I'm drinking me some dojo juice, y'all. It's got a kick, it's so smooth. Gonna get me in the party group. The band is playing, the crowd is swaying. I'm catching a buzz from this dojo juice I'm laying. Sipping on dojo juice, oh yeah. Sipping on dojo juice, oh yeah. Got me feeling loose, oh yeah. We'll dance all night till the sun comes through. Sipping on the church juice, just me and you. Sorry about that long wait, but sometimes premium dodo juice takes a little extra time to make. Mm. <laughs> dodo juice. I need a dodo juice emoji. I'd rather, uh, I would have rather seen each season of Fallout be, be, be itself a contained story, but um, that's not good. Yeah, I, honestly, you're right. But yeah, that's a good point. The, the, in, in the nature of how Fallout games have been released, a different vault would have been cool. Like a different vault story would have been great every season. Because they could have done like infinite seasons by the point. New actors, new stories, you know what I mean? That would have been smart. But granted, the, 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 the characters they created and, uh, and the, and the uh, setup they've done is pretty... Ha, that's awesome. Sorry, I'm just I'm looking at the Streets of Beans thing. Um, yeah. So, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, the... Uh, I still think they did a pretty good job, so I'm not too worried about it being a single narrative, but they could have done the, a different vault every single season and have different stuff happen, but that's okay. 
Yeah, that looks like sweets of bean crust, John Green. <laughs> I have been blessed with juice, Matt. Yes, thank you for you. All I know is that you're, this year's Comic Cons are going to be real with Vault Soup to call. Yeah, right. Vault's going to have a, like the, the, it has a huge resurgence of players. I, I might play Fallout Four tomorrow, guys. I was thinking about it. I I own the game. I think at least on PC. I think I played on Xbox before, so it might, it might be cool to play it on PC and, and play it a little more high res. I don't know, but um, I might I think I'm playing Fallout Four. Not I'll not just keep doing PUBG, but I think Fallout Four be fun. Fridays are usually pretty slow nights and kind of cool to kind of read, read dive back and all that. <laughs> I was contemplating in New Vegas, but the, the, I, I'm I'm a little stickler on graphics. It needs to be a little bit better, you know. Hey go. Yeah, right, Cash. Because of a stat, because of a, uh, of, uh... <coughs> ah, COVID. He's actually watching strat reruns. What? Thank you, sweet. Nice, nice pics of that deck junior mug, by the way. Good stuff. <clears throat> Okay, give me. Pretty bad. Which one, Matt Morrison? Do you have one in mind? This one, I don't know what this one is, but it might be out there. Anyway. Of you. Whippy whip. Bam. 
Thank you for the music. <laughs> All right, K Gaming, play a different song. I'll play my guitar song. I'll play my song where I sing. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're a man and you're subscribed to this channel, you guess what? You got a free ride to Ganky Happy Town. So, come on in! Have some wine. All right, just kidding, there's no wine here. It's all bourbon and scotch. If you don't like bourbon and scotch, then you're also not a man, so you don't deserve to be in here. That's how this works. So, come on in, have some bourbon and scotch, and uh, let's, let's get all a little crunk together. What do you think? All you guys want to hang out and have fun with Dojo? Sounds good to me. Kiss you guys. Dad, just, you guys are just throwing all the community points out today. Hold on. 
That works for me. Dad jokes! Some dad jokes. Dad jokes. Dad jokes for Dojo! How you guys doing? Alright. What's the longest piece of furniture in the school? The multiplication table. Stop whining. It's really it's a long table. It's a long table. You get it? You get it? I never understood odorless chemicals. They never make sense. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy. These classics. I tried to make up a joke about joke about ghosts, but I couldn't. I had plenty of spirit, no body. <laughs> um, I made a dad joke. This is I actually made a dad joke from scratch, and I am very proud of this joke. Okay, you guys ready? Why can't you walk in a campground in the future? Because you're walking past tents, guys. Stop whining. I made it up myself. My that's my the dojo joke. I wrote it. You heard it here first. You're gonna use that in the office now, aren't you? Excuse me, I know you are. Just tell me the truth. Just tell me the truth. I roll. You love it, sweet Ming. You love all that. I can't remember looking for these jokes. Yes, you did. Pan. Pan. Hate to love it. Mm -hmm. It's a love-hate relationship with these jokes. I get it. I don't have one, man. Morrison, you know that. Way too young. What, really? Excuse me. Way too young? The word way too young is a little weird. I'm 44. I'm not young in anyone's books. Nobody would call me young in this world. They wish they would call me old. They're not going to call me old. We're young. I have a gray beard for you. Yeah, I think he's young baby dojo. Yeah, that's what I am, guys. Just a baby. for you okay whatever that means yeah exactly too young for what exactly big girl what are you too young for you i still have stamina miss sweet sabine so i don't know i think you're missing out Too much too young specials. What? What? Oh my god, I don't want to know. Why not? Are you, were you sex shamed when you were young? Since I mean, that's really sad. I'm sorry. I feel bad for you. I feel. Oh. 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 
Jesus Christ. Eh. Dude, that was weird. This guy's like a super shot. He's not missing at all. <laughs> Got you, past two, son of a bitch. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> like that. The three X is way better than the four than uh, X. Way more accurate. Wait a minute, there's two guys in that building? Fuck, man. Never. It makes sense. So sorry. That was that was frustrating. That was frustrating. 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 Mm. Matt Morrison, thank you for the delicious, delicious premium juice. I appreciate you, man. Ow, nom, 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 nom. That was delicious. Well, you still have a minute, you're ready. That's what. It's... You only have 30 minutes? Wait, who? No, that's not true. That's too, that's not very long at all. I mean, there's some, t there's some TMI stories I can give you guys. If you want to hear some TMI stories. No. I mean, 30 minutes, by the way, 30 minutes is long. It's not long, like, not long to do, like, to physically do, but it's too long. To, I, I think at a certain point, you're not really, it's, I think the, the, the drama and the dream of, like, having sex for, like, hours is stupid. I think it's, it's, it doesn't seem, it doesn't make sense. The, the, the because the passion, the impulse is, is gone after, like, 30 minutes, really. I mean, that's a lot of work for 30 minutes. And then secondly, um, you know, we're not counting the foreplay and stuff, right? So, like, it's like, mm. You do you play duos and subs? Uh, boy next door. Hey, welcome. First time chatter. Thanks for being here. I haven't in a long time, but I have. I do ever so often. It's not really any, you know, it doesn't seem to be something people like to see that much because it's you know, I'm no longer reading chat. Whose story is time with children? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say that the uh, me getting a divorce was awesome because that gave me, um, I'd learn how to. It'd be much better at it. it makes any sense. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of funny at the community. Aw, thank you there, boy next door. Appreciate you following the dojo. That's nice of you. Good boy, good boy. 52 viewers. We're having great viewership lately, and I appreciate that, guys. So thank you for being part of the channel. There's 21 of you on YouTube. Let's check you out. Okay, YouTube, we're looking at, uh, we're going to check you out here. 20, I mean, 20, 25 likes. And I'm telling you, the likes bring people in. So thank you. Keep liking those videos. All right. Look what's gone. Something happened to this. I don't know what. I just don't know. It disappeared. Bloop. Bring that back up.
me your marbu. Tell us more sex stories. <laughs> I don't know. I do have to be worried about one thing, you know. The, you know, there's other people involved here that aren't part of this, aren't part of this conversation, right? I don't, I don't know what you want sex stories. I don't know what you want from me. You dirty people, you. <laughs> Touch you with the moats. Okay. So streamer lady's getting getting it on. Tell about your hour long foreplay. There's no hour long foreplay. All I know is I'm I'm decent at it all. Just I just say that. What is that? You mean trigger tree beam? I'm not gonna say like some I'm some sort of amazing, like wow, best ever, but I have been told some things. It's, it's nice to know that. Next one. Well, foreplay, I don't think it's, I don't think it's a time thing. I think proper foreplay should last over a period of time. Like a, like lunchtime, you start saying something. Then like three o'clock, you flirt. And then five o'clock, you touch. And then like by time, by eight o'clock, nine o'clock, now, you know, you, you, you've, you've gotten that, that engine turning. You make them arrive. Scotty, what? You guys can have your fun. Wow, all of you guys. Now, there's, there's like six people going to this area. Nope, that's okay. I'm gonna go over here. I'm decent at 24. I'm just not gonna sit here and, and like, uh, and, and top my own horn. Like, no one, no one wants to hear someone say I'm really good at it. You know, because like, without actually talking to the people they've done it with or uh, doing them with them, it can sound sound uh, egotistical and. A lot of people who are bad at it who say they're good, so it's that's what I'm saying. I just know that I have first-hand experience that uh, I've been told some things. So I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Don't you can show how it's how <laughs> across the town creek. That, that maybe that's the only fans I need to think about getting part of, right? Maybe I should. Uh, Get that OnlyFans up and running. Funny man knows what he's doing. <laughs> well, I appreciate you. I appreciate you saying that. Um, but you don't know either, right? I mean, you're all right. But but I appreciate you giving me confidence. I do. Best map. Eh, it's not the best map, Cam. You know better than to say that. You dirty man, you. Yes, I situation. I've always like I only buy. I, ooh, another life vest. I've been seeing these all night. Um, I've always said like sex education should be proper sex education. You should go to school and they should tell you the what to, how to do it right, and so the confusion and the uh, mis misinformation doesn't doesn't populate. But whatever, no one wants to teach kids sex, so I'm like, oh, no, freak you out. As a frequent OS supporter, no, you no, you're not. You're lying. You're being cute. Change your name to Game Dong. Oh, God, no. Horrible advice, Man Marson. What you just said about poor play is right. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I know. Dude, I'm telling you. I'm glad, yeah, I'm telling you, big girl, I, I've got it down. I know what I'm doing now. And it's caused some problems. I'll tell you that much. It's, it's caused some problems. In, in, in a kind of good problem way, I don't know how to explain it, right? But I'm not going to go into detail. I can't, I'd love to go into detail. It'd be fun, but I can't. It's not right to the, the other people involved. I'm going to be a good person, but it's something to keep in mind. Dojo is uh, not a complete idiot in that area. And like I said, it took me to get married, like, divorced to figure it out. I mean, I'm not saying while I was married, it was horrible, but. I'm gonna say it definitely wasn't as good, and I, I and it takes two to tango, so it's not just me. Tell me that much. So understand why people pay for that stuff. It's free to certain websites. I, I well, I, what people have told me, it's because of the uh, the more personal aspect of it. You have inter you have if, if, at certain levels of OE fans, you actually interact directly with them, which I think is I guess hot for some people. Where like if there's porn or or sort of like sexual stuff like that, that is a uh, oh wow, I get moving here. That is 
that is uh they, they can interact with and be directly you know influencing it's it's a more exciting thing i don't know who knows babies come from storks after memory and daddy hug each other yes kim uh that's what we're talking about we're talking about how long they hug and when they hug and how good the guys get hugging <laughs> My girl has no use for foreplay. She wants to get straight to business. Okay, that's fine. I, I, I don't, I mean, every... Matt Morrison, everyone has their own experiences. I Not that I'm gonna argue with you, but there's a chance that, I mean, I don't know your relationship. I don't know her interaction with you. I don't know if she's, I mean, okay. Don't take this the wrong way, Matt. I'm gonna assume that you guys have a healthy relationship and she's healthy and everything's working out, but there's always a lot of things with people's brains and their past trauma that could affect them. Maybe, really? This guy just come at me? Come at me, bro? Oh, I didn't even fucking load. Yeah, that's right. Um, she might uh, not do uh, formally because she thinks that's what you don't want, you know? I there, the thing about a lot of people is like that having really confidence in someone else's like uh behavior sometimes they don't know that they're doing it uh out of improper reasons you know so maybe she would actually prefer foreplay but she thinks that it's a lot of work for you and she doesn't want you know she just wants to impress you you know that could be a possibility i don't know your reaction i don't know your interaction i don't know uh, what level uh, how dominant the relationship is for you versus her that kind of stuff it's a lot of weird stuff that you, you get into the weeds with um something i've been kind of like half uh like I'm not obsessing over, but thinking about it for the past few years is, is, is the dynamics of relationships and how sometimes things aren't as they seem. You know, Mrs. Business is nice, not trying to waste time. But you know what, though? So I agree with you in a way. Sometimes, uh, but this way, I would argue, Cash, that sometimes it's great. Sometimes, like the impulse, the moment, like wake up in the morning, just go at it, right? That's there's some fucking that's awesome visceral stuff. But the whole point of foreplay isn't necessarily to get a girl charged up. Like I think that's it's, it can get a guy charged up too. That it's it's meant for both. And I, I would honestly say that a proper setup will actually make the experience better in general. And so there's something to be said about that. Where is that 90 year old granny that would talk about sex on TV? Uh, what's her name? Uh, Dr. Ruth? Dr. Ruth is gone. She died a long time ago, I think. I think pay, pay much more attention, not only focus on themselves. Well, yeah. I, I see, oh, I, it's, it's kind of funny, honestly. Like, you girls, I think, <laughs> you'd be surprised what Dojo does. I, when I hear those kind of stories, I'm like, what do you mean focus on yourselves? That that's weird for me. It's like, we're men are so easy. We're so easy. Like we're so like we'll focus on ourselves. We're so, we're so easy. We don't need to focus on ourselves. But hello, Tyra. I'm Cam. Seen you a while. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Super handsome. Oh, I don't know that name. Oh, Do just got chat chatting about talking about sex. I mean, sex is all cells, right? So so I'm I'm doing good for my channel right now. That's how I look at it. That's how I see it. There's been some murder in here. There's been some murder in here. Hmm, that's better than nothing. Dr. Suzanne, was it Dr. Suzanne? I, I know, I was thinking Dr. Ruth from my era. She's still kicking Dr. Ruth. But what? She's still alive? How is Dr. Ruth still alive? Well, maybe because she's good at sex. Yeah, that's, the, that's the trick. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Who knows? Well, Dojo is confident in that area. I've always, I haven't always been, but now I'm 100% confident. It's nice, nice to have that confidence, which of course adds to it too. Because I mean, we can get we can get into the weeds about relationships that I think it's weird and it's it's a it's a catch twenty two for a lot of people, and I feel bad. Is that for men, the more confident you are in general, not just sex in general, will make you more attractive and more uh, interesting to the opposite sex. Uh, I, that is an absolute reality. The more wimpy you are, the whine you are, you cry, you show your emotions. As much as the world wants to pretend that's how men should be, uh, you know, that's what all the zeitgeist is going on, like as if that's gonna help. That is, in my experience, been the opposite. It, 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 it destroys you in that really. It's, it's all subconscious, I think, for women, to be honest. I don't think it's like they're trying to do it on purpose, but I think there's a there's something about confidence in a man and the strength in a man that is what a woman wants, period. So start there. Is someone for everyone? Let's hope so. Do you still think she went? Who she bangs? Who's she? Oh, Dr. Ruth. I don't know. 
sure it can't be very comfortable that age. Jesus Christy. Sensitivity, no asshole with confidence, yes. I wouldn't say asshole. See, that's, I think that's a too much of an extreme, Sir Tony. Even though I agree a little bit that that's, I, you know, the dynamic seems to work more for men that are more assholes. I don't, asshole is not confidence. Asshole is, is a behavior. Confidence is a uh, personality, in my opinion. So, no, I wouldn't say it's assholes, but, but assholes tend to because assholes do look confident. An asshole is like a great, it's like a, it's like a, it's a camouflage of someone that's confident. Usually they're very insecure and they lash out, but they look like they're confident. So they get what they want, so they don't feel like they have to change. In my opinion, like that's that, that's kind of where assholes sprout from. <laughs> um, but I'm telling you, being a sensitive man is not going to get you what you want in most experiences, in, in, in most in most situations. There's exceptions to all rules, of course, but men shouldn't be like that all the time. But when the situation brings emotion. A man shouldn't be afraid of, sh of sh shaming you into hiding it. But you know what? I, yes, big girl. But as I said, in my experience, I think there's a subconscious thing with women. I don't think they mean it to be. But I think that when you cry around them, you're not impressing them at all. And I think that really does subconsciously mess with them. Because I have cried in front of women. And almost every goddamn time, it has turned out in a bad way. Something, it, 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 the, the end result of whatever was going on ended up being worse situation for me. Uh, and that's my personal experience. Then you go online and you read about people's experiences and you read about psychology of women and psychology about men and you start realizing why. But I'm telling you, I think men need to be careful. Don't follow this 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 weird feminist movement of like men should be more sensitive and cry in front of us and be emotional because I don't think that's a good idea. I think that's a trap. I do. I really do. And I wasn't like, like su suffocate your emotions completely. is not Just find a different outlet. Communicate very well your ideas and thoughts, but don't cry in front of someone. Don't, you know, that's not what that's going to hurt you in the long run. As a guy, I don't like showing most, uh, anybody is guaranteed embarrassment later. Well, I was embarrassment. Embarrassment is not, not, not part of it all because people, nobody cares. I mean, the, uh, the world, the world doesn't remember your embarrassment. Just always remember that. But have you ever cried after sex women like that? <laughs> yes, Kim. Yes, they love that. How you're crying? Uh, was it ugly stock crying or stoic? But does it matter? Stoic? First of all, stoic is... You can't have a stoic crying, the girl. The, the definition of stoic is is to uh, do the right thing and, and be and, and basically emotionally stuffed. Do women want us to pull them by the hair back of the cave? Uh, What? <laughs> Holy hell, dude. What are we talking about right now? No one wants you to cry either sex. Not necessarily true. So I think women crying activates something in men a little bit. But as I said, I said, I still think it's a subconscious thing, to be honest. I think it's a subconscious uh, thing that happens to women. Not, not, it's not conscious. They're not like, oh, he's crying. I don't like him. That's why this, this argument is so difficult because people, all, all women will deny it. But my personal experience mixed with other people's personal experience kind of tells me like there's very few guys out there who cried in front of their women and that they like them more. They've always said they, they may, they may have, you know, um, took care of them and you know felt bad for them and like was there for them for that but a little bit of their respect for that man was, was reduced I really think that and that respect is everything respecting a man is, is what men need from women their respect you know like that we're we're respected by our, our second matter. that's what our need is so you cry you lose a little respect hello Shot did he just hit me with the, that got me that much damage? Oh, yeah. I'll be trying to give me anxiety. Well, there's everyone, I think, right? That's the kind of definition of that. But also, women cry for no reason. There's this, that's just, that just due to the time where it's. Oh, okay, let's not go there, sir, Tony. 
I've been trying to healing resting. I was at my brother's wedding a couple weeks ago Saturday on Sunday. My family went to the indoor bike track and I had crashed and wrecked my, went to Oh no! Oh boy. Okay. I know it's headshot, but Ken, that was like a like a long range weapon that he was able to kick my ass with. It's really strange. Dude. This guy's not missing. Is he doing auto aim on me? I hate that shit. A 4X from this distance? Are you fucking kidding me? This is this guy's 4Xing from this far. This guy's cheating. This guy's cheating. He's auto aiming. He has to be. Look how far away he is from me. Look how far. Look how ridiculously far. This is a 4X. Are you. Dingle 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 juice juice the dojo. He's just calm the dojo. Nice, nice Benjamin. Dead good. I like that. Good work there, Mr. L Benjamino. And by the way, I said the crying is I'm not talking about don't tell don't don't be a don't be a stuffed up with your emotions. Don't talk about your emotions. That's not the point. But you have to tell them what your boundaries are. Be but but you cannot, you cannot cry. I just think it's just a bad idea. You can't look weak. And I think it's a subconscious thing. And it sucks because it's not fair to men, I don't think. But whatever. And because we say it's not fair, like, oh, you can. Everyone's like, you can. No, just don't do it. Just don't do it. You're going to. You're gonna. Nobody cheats at PUBG. Oh, okay. Shoot. Just bruised up. Well, good. Men punch drywall. That's why we know show emotion. This is how we show emotion. Damn. That's a little that's a little raw. Not really true, but you know. Or wait, for example, deck is not afraid to bring out put bring put the tissues in. We like it. Bring put the tissues. Or late night drives with music. <laughs> uh, that's what happens, man. I'm playing with the tissues. Tissues. I'm not crying that much tonight. <laughs> Fill her up with premium. Um, ah, yes. It's like you're at a gas station, a full service gas station there, Deck Junior. I love it. Thank you, buddy. Look at you coming in with the next big D. Deck Junior, give me love like you did to me. Paste. And there we go. All right. So I'll be right back. I'm going to get some more Dota juice. And it's going to make me better this video game. But what is this map? Destiny. Look, look, reverse. Be back. I'm rolling Hopefully I don't die on the, on the plane right in this old joke, and ready to swim. Give me class, don't make it small. Cause tonight I'm drinking me some dojo juice, y'all. It's got a kick. It's so smooth. Gonna get me in the party group. The band is playing the proudest sway. Catching a buzz from this dojo juice I'm laying. Sipping on dojo juice, oh yeah. Sipping on dojo juice, oh yeah. Got me feeling loose, oh yeah. We'll dance all night till the sun comes. Sipping on dojo juice, just me and you.
Ooh, perfect timing. I'm AFK, but I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. Alright, let's see if I'm with anyone else. <laughs> Look at this circle! Install. Just another circle jerk. Another shot to the face. Circle jerk. Yes, we do. Not more sense. Good point. Well, I need to replace that moat that we made that, that no one uses because it was it was a silly one. I think you did you pay for it? Someone paid for it. It was a, oh the the cuprito. We need to get rid of the cuprito. No one uses it. No one remembers it there, and it's Grumble. And Grumble's not really around anymore. <laughs> nice big girl. That's kind of fun. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Honestly, it's an AI program. It's a pretty powerful AI program. It's fucking hilarious. I love it. Uh, I would never use it for anything more other than just jokey stuff, but yeah, it's, it's AI is getting there, guys. It's it's just we're at the start of it all, and it's already crazy. No cash. <laughs> Yo. Oh my. Come on, dude. You just killed me. You just you just killed me. You, you just. I'm. I can't. I can't. I, I won't. I won't be able to make it now. I mean, I'm gonna hit run. We'll see what happens. Maybe I can heal all the way there. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> oh, God. Technically, that means I can find a bicycle, right? I know. No vehicle. No, there is a proper response. Yeah, lame. Well, I guess I sit back and drink while I run. <laughs> you guys are meanie pants. I, no, it, it's vehicles, big girl. I already found a bike earlier. The car is also bikes. At the time, bikes didn't exist. So I put it up there, but it's any kind of vehicle. Just to make it fair, you can use a mountain bike. Oh well, thank you, Cash. But uh, I did. I, I will. I will uh, it is fair. It's still fair. No, no vehicles. No vehicles. <laughs> What's funny is, isn't watching me not use a car the most boring part of this game? Like this is just me running now for the next ten minutes. By doing that, you have now refused yourself a fun environment. A fun shooty shooty shoot pants can. Got that kit, that cardio in. I already told you my stamina is fine. I don't need no cardio. I am, in, I am in strangely better shape than I should be. I don't exercise, and I eat horribly, and I drink. But I bought a bike, I think I told you, Sunday for my birthday. And the weather was nice, so I took a five-mile bike ride. Five miles is not a joke when it comes to biking. It's That's pretty good in the distance, to be honest, with hills and everything. 
on the hot weather. And I, my legs kind of hurt when I was doing it. And I did stop a couple times and walk the bike up a hill. But at the end, I wasn't like overly tired. I didn't pass out. I was able to really kind of like, uh, I was, I was, I was healthy. It was like, wow, okay, cool. I actually don't have issues. And I think I know why, by the way, because you know, there is exercise in the world. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Can I use this thing, please? If I saw a dude riding a, riding a bike in my neighborhood, that would be weird. Why would that be weird? <laughs> I don't know why it's weird. Well, I'm not losing weight. So, Cross Town Creek, uh, I measured myself, gosh, like three days ago. I haven't measured, my, measured my, my body weight in probably over a year. I'm at 215. I'm exactly at 215 from last time I measured, which is awesome, I guess. I don't know. Like, 215 is a perfect weight for me. I, I mean, I could go a little less, but I think, you know, women like it. Little, women don't like skinny guys. Like, they like fit guys don't like guys are like bone and, and you know sinew so I, I can't i don't want to lose any more weight so i'm, I'm right in my healthy light i'll tell her i'm two i'm six foot i used to be six foot two but i've shrunk over my old age i'm a bigger guy i'm not tiny um but i'm not fat so I, there's a lot of muscle on me and stuff so 215 is a pretty good it's like a perfect size for me or perfect weight and uh I'm happy I'm staying that way without, you know, really doing much shrinkage, without doing much effort. You know what I'm saying? Wow, look at this. This is ridiculous. Oh, wow, Matt, you're a tall guy. that truck and that uh, that uh, Dacia there no those would be useful go live forever hey nobody I'm six feet tall good I remember being 15 when I was 14 <laughs> well how big are you now that's 14 that's really young for 215 Good catch. Yeah, that, that's healthy. I was so when I was married, I got up to two, almost two fifty, like two forty seven. I think I maxed out at, and that was I could feel myself fat. Like you'd see pictures of me, I was like I could feel that, that kind of like that where you just, you still kind of bulges in my neck. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. But at the time, I was like whatever. I was just strong. I was like that. This is my life. This, this, I'm, I'm this. But then I got divorced and I lost like I want to say thirty pounds was in the first year and a half, and then I lost another 10, 15 pounds after that. And it's been nice. I didn't do anything special. I wasn't dieting or anything. Just. Oh, dude, I'm. I, I'm just gonna die in the circle. How does this feel, there, Cash? You ruined this game. I can't sit in the way. And your girlfriend's your girlfriend's pregnant. This is a new information. Do you have a baby? Are you gonna have a baby, Matt? What? what, what? I guess you should have been asked to keep that dojo since time by. Sorry, what? I guess you should have been asked? Been AFK. You shouldn't have been AFK! <laughs> Funny. That was a while ago. All this looting and for nothing. Well, I wouldn't say for nothing. If I get I can if I get heals, I'll be fine.
-hmm. It's going to start chunking in. Well, yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to make it, but I'll, I'll try. Just give him to the blue. I am a survivor. I am a survivor! Oh, boy. Oh, oh. Whee. <coughs> oh that fucking hurt me? Goddamn game. Whatever. Uh, not cool, bro. Not cool, bro. <laughs> I've only got like I've only gone like this little bit. Like I haven't barely have barely gone anywhere. This is bad. <laughs> it's fine, Cash. I'm not having fun with it. Dude, that's another PUBG game. Whatever. Who cares? Who cares? Now, Cash, maybe if you give me another, uh, you know, give me a Dota juice, you can make up for your your bad behavior. More juice. It's my birthday yesterday, guys. Think about it that way. I think it was a birthday gift to me. Dota juice birthday gifts. Run, first run. Well, it's not technically my birthday anymore, but yes. To be honest, I would have sent the, the Dota Juice refill, but I can't open a bank account where here in Egypt since I am differently, differently, I am a different nationality. Oh, how do you, okay, well, Cash, I'm sorry, bud. What do you have your dinner on your birthday? So, uh, I went to a restaurant, Matt Morrison, that I've never, I, I've been to once for like three, four years ago, and I always kept meaning to go back to it. It's a small little place, um, not, it's pretty undescript, and it ended up being really amazing. It actually was incredible. There was this like, uh, uh, smoked, uh, trout, uh, Croquette, which is like a kind of like a, a fried ball of amazing that you spread on, on cheese for my appetizer. Oh, and then I had a flank steak. And flank steak is one of those meats that when you say it, people are like, uh, but it was probably one of the best steaks I've ever had. I mean, it was really amazing. So, oh shit, what? What the? It wouldn't let me put my. It, would, it wouldn't let me do my little parachute. Boo! All, all that to die off a cliff. All that to die off a cliff. Anyways, it was it was like flank steak, uh, flank steak uh, with a uh, cojita cheese. It was like a, a kind of a Mexican vibe. Uh, could could it cheese uh, crumbles on it with with a chimichurri uh, dipping sauce and these like amazing like potatoes or something like uh, Yukons or something. They weren't potatoes or something else, but uh, it was a really good meal and it was cheap. It was like twenty one bucks for the meal, and it was a great little experience at the bar. And I I loved it. So it, I'm gonna go back there. I think this week just kind of have I'm gonna have it again. If you're still streaming three years later when I'm finished college, I'll college I'll best leave. Uh, college best believe you're making a special what and leave college best leave leave you're making a special dota juice i'm not sure what you're saying maybe you're saying you're going to donate either way don't worry about cash you're a great viewer i appreciate you being here don't 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 sweat it buddy i don't mean to extort you but you just caused that nightmare that this happened just say you you caused my unhappiness so just yeah yeah right rooster right Oh, thank you, Mister. There's the moral. He'll be streaming. Yeah, three years from now. My plan. I told you guys. My plan, honestly, is to be the last streamer on Earth. <laughs> be like an 85 year old man. Everyone else has quit Twitch. All the all the all the big guys are done. 
Oh. Oh. There you go, Rooster. Get you enjoy those emotes. Um, is to uh, is to stream, you know, for and, and by then I'm not streaming as much as I am now. I'd be mean, once in a week, maybe like every Sunday I'll just stream. But for now, I, I'm planning on maybe just keep doing this forever. It'd be fun. I mean, it's not, it's, it's kind of low key. It also helps you guys are supporting the channel, you know. So it, it's not like a wasted effort in my sense, you know, because I, I could be using this time to have a different job, like a part time job to, for, for hustle, side hustles to help pay me bills. But uh, you guys support the channel enough that it's it's worth my effort, and I'll keep doing this for as long as I can. You guys keep coming back. Both donations caused your death. First one to keep you in the plane too long. Well, the, the, okay, the, Ken, the second one wasn't a donation. The second one was a community points. Everyone can spend them. They're free. Just being in the chat in Twitch, Ken, gives the points. Um, so the community points don't actually make me money or anyone money. It's just just, part, just another way of interacting with the stream, which I like. I like them. It's kind of cool. Duck Jr. just wants that 1100 number. A scholar? What do you call him a scholar? I don't know. A scholar? I mean, we don't know if he's smart. <laughs> Give me birthday juice! <laughs> no, no. We don't. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> that Twitch is to never trust that guy. Kim, I'm with you on that one. I wouldn't trust him either. Well, good luck. The reason why that one, by the way, Kem, uh, Cash, sorry, that was the most effective version of Note Used Car because, you know, I did AFK, so it was the very end of the train, and for some reason, the the Pub Jeebus gods said, hey, we're going to make these circled the absolute opposite of the map for you. Oh, imagine that. Dojo luck, right? So, that, and it was a big map. Destin's pretty big, so you absolutely the perfect time to do that, to screw me over. You basically killed me, and you, and you did it on purpose, and now I'm going to cry. At, at the end of the stream, though, not in person, because I don't want you guys to feel less uh, respect for me. <laughs> Competition. One's a human player for sure because he broke window. So. We're hunting wabbits. Sweaty palms. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag suck it. Got him. That was awesome. He's cursing a storm up right now. Guarantee you that. Wrecked him. Damn near killed him. I 
use the computer player to bait the other human, the other other guy. I think and he was he was safe. Worked out quite nicely. He uninstalled. I doubt that. That was that was not like an uninstalled environment. He just didn't know I was there. <laughs> he probably didn't like it, but he's not gonna be like that childish. I wouldn't think. That no car move, but to be honest, was kind of tame. If I had twenty thousand points, I would made you drop all loot. Hmm. Yeah, you, you. What? Explain that one to me. Hashtag How can I hit a guy twice with the car 98 and he doesn't die? Like, what the fuck game? Uh, whatever. Fine. Fine. Everything's fine. I'm not upset. Just a little angry. Oh, Matt Morris. You're so sweet, dude. Thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll go get some full diesel here. Happy birthday. Aww. Thanks for the entertainment. Oh, you're amazing. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. All right, let me get upstairs and lay down, and I'll get some Doja Juice. Yep. I'll be right back. Thank you, Matt Morrison. That's a big, big beast. That means up to 25, buddy. Oh, let's get to the board here for 25. Matt Morrison. Be like Matt Morrison. Give the juice to the dough. Give the I'm juice to the dough. In this old joint, feeling good and ready to swing. Give me a glass, don't make it small. Cause tonight I'm drinking me some dojo juice, y'all. It's got a kick, it's so smooth. Gonna get me in the party group. The band is playing, the crowd is swaying. I'm catching a buzz from this dojo juice I'm laying. Sipping on dojo juice, oh yeah. Are you then? Sipping on dojo Matt juice, Morrison, oh you're yeah. A gentleman, a scholar. Got me feeling loose, oh yeah. We'll dance all night till the sun comes through. Sipping on dojo juice, just me and you. Wasn't that fun? Yeah, I know, Matt Morris. No, I know. I know. I remember, guys, $50 donation, and a dojo will make a dojo, will make any emote you want. It's always been like that. Always will be. By interacting and just hanging out. You should, you know, that's how it works. I don't know. Hashtag suck it. Yeah, Wang and Bunny have not been part of this channel for a while. I think Bunny's mad at me because Bunny talked to me offline, DM'd me some ideas I never responded. I, I just I just don't have the energy to put into the streaming like that right now, and I feel bad. But yeah, he probably a little mad at me, and Wang, you know, he comes and goes.
too loud. I do not like the, I do not like the Gungeon sounds that Sam I am. All right, Matt Morrison, which one do you want? I'm you got you. I'm guessing you're gonna say "Sexy Monkey," but anything else? <laughs> Any other songs you want to hear? Uh, my choice. I knew it was gonna happen. Guitar, all right. the birthday man here is the shot of tequila i will take oh dragon why don't you give me one min who <laughs> oh i know what you're gonna do to me aren't you oh you son of a bitch i know what you're gonna do that I, oh look at you oh uh-huh uh-huh. Oh, you bastard. I know, Gregory. I get you. Man, if you want to do that, Matt, but I won't respond to that. God. You think you're funny, aren't you, Cash? Let 
The difference is though, I, this won't be as effective because, um, thank you, thank you, Matt, for the music. Um, because the circle, look, the circle's already closer. The, 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 that happened because it was after the opposite side, which was ah, such a joke. <laughs> I'm trying to land there, by the way. I'm doing my best, but I, I, I'm not going to make it. Just so you know, I'm not trying to cheat. Just, I can't, you know, obviously, I can't keep myself up in the air forever. I'll do what I can. I'm holding on control and forward, so it's just, this is the slowest descent that it gives me. <laughs> I think you're alone now, but I don't think you're around. Damn, that's a good start. Are you kidding me? Wow. Best gear. What do you guys think about me playing Fallout? Fallout, Fallout Four tomorrow. Is it thumbs up, thumbs down, boring? Okay. What do you guys think? I'm not sure I'm gonna do it. Even if you thumbs up, just saying. I'm just like. I mean, everyone's in the same bandwagon of like loving Fallout for the show, but it's like I do love Fallout Four, and I haven't played a game like that in a while. Fridays don't work. Yeah, <laughs> mine. What are you doing on Friday nights that's, that's more important than Dojo? Huh? Mr. Matt Morrison? Oh, this is a thumbs up. Oh, Cash, I appreciate that. But unfortunately, it doesn't, isn't it matters. I, I love that sentiment. Uh, it's, I wish everyone was truly like that. But the boredom of watching me talk to people in, in RPG land is usually not the hottest uh, adventure in streaming. But Fallout's not PUBG. Fallout's not PUBG. It's not PUBG. No, it is not. Um, we, yes. We, what? Yeah, we know that. It's definitely not PUBG. So what? <laughs> I'm um, living a life. Living a life. Starfield. Yeah, Ozzy, screw that game. I was so upset that that game was as boring as it was. It's a Bethesda game, right? It's a Bethesda game, right? Flat as, as, as the as the train in those freaking planets. What a boring game. That was a that was such a boring game. I try my I really did my effort to make it fun. I was thinking about I, I really delve into it. I worked on the mechanics of the game, understanding what to do, the ships, and it's just ugh, ugh, boring. It's amazing how they can make a boring game nowadays. Like, it's, it's not hard to make a fun game, right? Uh, well, no one wants about someone who hasn't had a good time. If you're having fun, we'll, we'll join. Oh, I know, Cash. I get the concept. I get that. Um, but it's not, it's not mutually exclusive. So nobody wants to watch someone not having a good time, but it doesn't mean everyone wants to watch somebody just watch uh, having a good time and playing a boring game. You know what I'm saying? Eric Santana, so what you're saying is you're going to start a COD Warzone mobile series. Basically, uh, Eric Santana gets it. More than a bit of a disappointment. It was bad. Couldn't hurt. Yeah, well, I mean, I played, I've already played Fallout all the way through once, and a second time almost halfway through on stream. Uh, so I'm curious. You never played Fallout? Dude, if you feel bigger, you'd love that game. I don't know. You like a lot of games. That, Fallout is, is still, I, that Fallout 4 experience streaming was still one of my favorite experiences streaming because I was enjoying the stream itself, like the people in interaction, and I was like enjoying this game. Like I was immensely into it. It was great. Oh, so much fun. I look forward to uh, streaming every day. I almost thought about Fallout New Vegas because everyone said like that is the epitome of Fallout. Uh, but because it was, I think it came out in 2004, the graphics are just a little too old. I mean, I I, I don't want to be that kind of snob, but that's a little bit much right now. Folded shield. I don't need I don't need, I don't need no stinking folded shield, you you bastards! You bastards, give me a folded shield! I do not need no folded shields. Is 
variety streamer. No. Hey, I hate that phrase, variety streamer. It has never worked for anybody. The only things that only people it works for are people who have huge audiences. And so we're like, oh, well, it works for them because they have huge audiences. No, they have huge audiences. They're like loyal to them no matter what. They will all, they, because what they don't realize like percentage wise. So if my biggest streams are 70 people watching, right? And if I play a shit game and I'm and I have 25 people watching, that's a half, that's 50% viewers. If, if you have, you know, 15 or 20,000 people watching Shroud play CSGO and then 10,000 are watching him play some random stupid game, they're like, oh, He's doing good. No, he still has the same. He still has fifty percent of the viewership are not watching. So it's like no variety streamer. I don't, for variety streaming. I do not think is a is a functionally uh, proper way to stream. I have seen it played, so I had some reference while watching the show. So I completely uh, it wasn't a complete loss, but it's only five dollars right now. So wow, Fallout Four is only five dollars. Shit, I'm gonna buy it myself. I thought it was, I, I might because I might only have it for PCs. I uh, for Xbox. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna after this buy that right now. I'm a 24 hour mind streamer, so it's on. It's actually kind of awesome, Mary Santana. I almost kind of want to do that. Mind 24 hour mind Dude, I would. Oh, I don't know. I could probably not. I don't think I could handle it. I'd probably go insane. I'd probably go insane. Lyric. Lyric. I think all the Fallout games are free on PS Plus right now. Probably. Uh, because of the game, movie, but I don't like console they're like 30 frames per second i i played so i think i played fallout 4 on low frame rate so it might be fun to play it on high frame rate maybe maybe find some um some mods to make it look really nice i don't know all right so cash your uh your plan to destroy me did not work i am in the zone luckily yeah i saw that ozzy it's i I don't think anybody here wants to watch me do those kind of games they're, they're kind of cute and they're funny for one stream but spend the money for one stream is not not worth it you guys can always gift me games, by the way. I've always said that. If you gift me a game, I'll probably play it on stream. Or, like, maybe make it a rule that if you gift me a game, I will stream, I'll stream it. You know, that kind of thing? Because I'm okay with that. That way, I don't, you know, I don't spend money on something that doesn't give anybody any enjoyment. Just wait till... <laughs> I mean, the, those uh, 20K were vicious when it comes to, um, like, the final circle. Dude. I had people out there. I think they changed the community points and how they, how you gain them because you guys don't seem to have as many points as you used to. But for a long time, I'd get to the final circle of like PUBG. Warzone is the worst one. And you guys made me drop my crap. It's like, what the hell? Uh, and PlayStation Store uh, for, for is $5. And okay, but well, that's PlayStation. Yeah, I'm curious what the uh, Steam is. I'm not a master PC raise. I'm not. I've always. I've been, a, I've been an Xbox console guy since day one. I'm still an Xbox console guy. Yeah. But. If the game isn't 30 is, is 30 frames per second i'm not gonna play it on xbox it's, it's it's that simple it's literally that simple I'm sure it is real. I got a good PC, uh, but I love PS5. I, I love sitting in couch. Not, as, yeah, no, I get no. Like you said, Cash, I'm actually more of a console player than than a PC player. I'm, I mostly play PC because of streaming. I was, I mean, I never played PC games in. I play, okay, I take it back. I grew up PC gaming in the '90s because '90s is, it was it was it was like a a, a renaissance in, in PC gaming, unbelievable era. Um, but. I got an Xbox 360 in 2003, and it changed my life. Like I got back into gaming, like whoa, like really, really into it, like like Nintendo level. Like I was every, I but I would buy games and just play through them all the way through. It was amazing. I loved it. Um, and when I started streaming, I had Xbox. Uh, I still, I think my, it wasn't 3X. What, what the, what's the one right after the 360? It wasn't the X. Xbox One. And I that's, I streamed only Xbox One. I had no PC to stream off of. I didn't have a second PC. My main PC was to stream to. Was a, was a streaming PC. So I'd play all my games. All my streaming was was with Xbox. That's why, I, you know, Fallout, uh, Dying Light, um, uh, Call of Duty, of course. And and I, I love it. I really love consoles. I, I think I love the controller. I love my hand on a controller. It feels more fun. But the low frame rates kill me. Like 30 frames per second is unacceptable after 2010. Like, wh why are we doing this? Yet yeah, PUBG and Fallout 4 were 30 frames. Hey, Brandy. Haven't talked to you in a while. Welcome back. Doom was fucking awesome. That Doom Eternal was... I really like Doom Eternal. Well, not Doom Eternal. The one, Doom, whatever. Yeah. 
Oh, we're in the circle again. <laughs> this is probably my last game of the night, guys. Yeah, right, Cash? The squad screen Halo. In, two, in, in Xbox 360, Halo 3, squad screen playing multiplayer. Probably one of my favorite things in life. Aww. Aww. Oh. Jack Jr. giving some love. Long time ago, Matt Morrison, because there's no no new followers for for uh, PUBG. PUBG is kind of like viewership is, is new people don't come in for PUBG much. But when I was playing more, you know, Modern Warfare Three was a new games, so you have these random people kind of just clicking on streams, looking at the new game, and curiosity killed the cat kind of vibes. Um, so I got followers then, and that was the last time really. It's just fine, whatever. We're looking at 69 followers to a Dojo dance, but nobody follows, so. or no one's new. How's life, Randy? How how you doing? How's your daughter doing? She's still, is she still wait, wait, what what instruments did you play? I, I swear to God, you sent me a video of her playing a flute. I think it was. It was a flute or a clarinet? Maybe a clarinet. I can't remember. God, I cannot remember the music. But what, what was the what, was the, what did she play? Dang, boy, I can't remember. Yeah, it is. I agree. Cam, I, it, it, yeah, you like your PUBG, but honestly, I'm done with Call of Duty. I, 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 so I told you I played twice in the last couple of weeks because of the maintenance they put up on the stream uh, on the uh, game, and I was like, my heart was on it. Like, this is not fun. This is not a fun game. It's just it's stress. It's like a bunch of stress and adrenaline. Did you eat frozen dinners? No. Too salty. Not good for you. I mean, I'm a cook, so I can make way better food. Just with just the same amount of money. Oh. Down for the count. Hashtag suck it. This might be a fool's errand, but he needs storage. What? You don't. Why don't you pick up three? Like, I don't want. I, because I don't need that much gear, Kim. It doesn't help. I don't need that much stuff. It doesn't benefit you to have that much gear. You're just gear hoarding. You don't use half the stuff. And it's nice to have everything, but no. I've already learned. I've learned a pretty good rhythmic uh, system on what what uh, gear I need. I should use. You know. Hmm. Tempting. Yeah. I can open. Ooh.
Aha, pan! Pan, baby! Hashtag suck it. Found a bush. A uh, good last game, though, right? Good last game for Dojo. Good for me. Look at me. Look at me go. Ha 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 ha. Just imagine if you had 20,000 points, you could ruin my life. Hmm. Ooh. Sexy. Oh, yeah. Top 10? Top 10. Nice last game. I also have a ghillie suit, so. Never leave this bush. Something's gonna come up here in this mountain right here. Saint Fog. They've they've had that in Erangel. Erangel has insane fog, and rain. Let me bring it back. But this is Ronda. Ronda doesn't have um, doesn't have environment stuff like that. It's gonna land right on me, by the way. I don't need it, but I'm curious. Hashtag suck it.
heard a vehicle. You hate your boy. Aww. Aww. 44 months. This is bad. This is pretty bad, actually. Just trying to fucking heal. All right, well that was a fun time. Oh boy, it was okay, nature boy. Um, I had a really good dinner. I well, and I saw some underground comedy. It, it worked out really well. It was a good night. Anyways, hey guys, thanks for hanging out. Last time, new armor, new armor. Well, it it yeah, it doesn't matter, Kim. It, it that was a grenade that would kill me no matter what I had. But that was a good night. I didn't win anything. Got I think two top tens, but whatever. The, the the PUBG has gotten hard lately. I don't know if it's the players or it's the game. I don't know. Or I'm just tired. I don't know. My life is so sad. I love you guys. You're awesome. You're awesome for being here. Matt Morrison, huge big deal for coming out tonight and, and, and showing support. I love that. I do. It helps me feel happy. All right, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. I'm thinking about, I'm, I'm, there's a 90% chance I'm doing Fallout 4 tomorrow. I know it may not be the most exciting thing in the world. I've done it before. It's a, but, you know, I'll make it fun. I think, uh, I think I should play something other than, other than PUBG and Fallout is hot right now and fun. It's not hot like I want to be like famous. I'm saying like a, I enjoy the game. So it'd be kind of fun to do it again. It's, it, it really is a good game. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Central, right? All right. Thank you guys for hanging out. Good night.